What's going on everyone? Welcome to this video. So I thought I would do an updated 2020 version of a what's on my iPhone. I haven't done one of these for a hot, hot minute. So I thought, you know what, it's, it's time to do another one. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let me get this going. So on my home screen, you can see that my wallpaper is Puppy Scooby-Doo from the movie Scoob. But mainly my home screen is the main apps, the Apple apps. You know, you got phone, photos, camera, settings, weather, calendar. It is June 1st today while I'm recording this, so. Clock, contacts, maps, notes, iTunes Store, App Store, FaceTime, Gmail, that is like the only one that's not an Apple app, and then shortcuts. And then down on my like dock, I have messages, podcasts, Safari, and music, Apple Music. Apple Music is what I use to listen to my music. So yeah, that's, that's the boring page. You slide over and you have everything else. So up here I have extras. This is just like a, I don't know where to throw it app but like I need them ish so I mean basically I have compass measure calendar wallet Amazon photos I used to use all the time I need to get back into using it but that's where I would store my photos because if you have Amazon Prime you actually have access to free photo storage so I can just upload them to there without worrying about any storage and then I can delete them off my phone if I want but I actually haven't used it since getting this phone. Then I have Bitmoji, Find My, Music Match, which I don't really use, I don't really know why it's on there. I have Cox Home Life, this is for our condo in Vegas, so it has nothing, it's not really relevant unless I'm in Vegas. Toontown, Whirl a Gig, Whirl a Gig is actually like a, <laughs> I caught it because I suck at making decisions, so like, I'm like, which game should I play out of these three? Spin, 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 spin. Lego Worlds! That's what we're gonna play. So, anyway, yeah, that's just, that's basically what it is. You can have, like, so many options. Da 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 It's Donkey Kong Country. That's what we're gonna play. So, that's what that app is. Then the Nintendo Switch Online app. Then I have a CPU X. Um, I actually use this just to kind of clear out some junk on my phone. So this is literally all I do is hit free up. And then it basically just gets rid of some of the crap that your phone loads up on. Hordes of files that are meaningless. So it's really all I use that for. I have the UPS app. I have the QR code scanner app. It's really more for barcodes that I use this for. I don't really use this a lot uh, because now the actual, hello, say hi. Now the actual camera app on your phone can scan QR codes but can't do barcodes yet. Then I have stop ad. This is basically to eliminate ads on websites and helps, you know, it helps websites load faster. It helps, you know, just everything load faster. I have PixArt. I literally only use that to get Scooby-Doo stickers and iMessages. <laughs> I have the Files app, I have Google Drive, I have Google Authenticator, and then I have Soar. This is a like an extension of Apple Music app type thing. Um, I kind of go back and forth between this app and the standard Apple Music app. So and that's my extras folder. Then I have my social folder. So this has basically the main apps that I use. You know, we have Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Messenger, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, Reddit, Amino. And then I have like my money stuff in here. I put it in here. So if somehow, somehow someone got into my phone, they like wouldn't think to look in social to try to get into. Yeah, I, I don't know. Then I have Work Proud. That was uh, from when I worked at Michael's. I just still have it just to see what's going on there. Then my YouTube folder, I have YouTube Studio. This is basically like how I see all of my 
analytics and my information and comment back to you guys on my videos uh, just directly from my phone. I can do it on my computer as well, but uh, obviously I love to have it on my phone. That way I can immediately reply to you guys. And I am on that app so much, reading comments, replying to comments, all this and that. Then I have YouTube Tracker. I originally had this to track how much longer it would take, at least a guesstimate, to get to 1,000 subscribers. But now that I'm at 1,000 subscribers, I don't use it as much anymore. Uh, but it still helps me track like when I'm going to reach more goals and kind of helps give me some guides on how I can reach more goals and whatever so I mean I, I just keep it on there for fun. Then I have Canva. This actually is what I use to make my YouTube thumbnails. Uh, I don't do it on my phone. I just have it on here because sometimes you need to do some quick edits or you know my mom wants like some phone background so I make them for her and whatever. That's why that's on there. I have an app called Eraser. It's basically you can erase whatever you want from a picture so if I just wanted my head I could do that I don't use this app a whole lot um, just because it honestly like stresses me out I'm always like I can't erase a line or whatever I just I can't I just it's only for rare occasions then I have an app called double take this is an app that lets you use two cameras on your phone at once so I could like for vlogs I could have the front facing camera recording me while recording on the rear camera and whatever. So it's a handy app. I've used it here and there. Uh, I really need to use it more, but it's there if I need it. Then I have voice memos because of the new microphone that I got, which we're trying out, which I'm sorry if I look weird because I'm still trying to get used to it, but that's, I have voice memos in my YouTube folder because that's the only time I use it for is to record audio for said videos. That's my YouTube folder. Then I have health. So I have the health app. I have the Apple watch app. I have the activities app. Then I have ped pedometer plus plus. So this just keeps track of my steps. Basically, uh, my goal is 10,000 steps each day. As you can see, I like never make that goal. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm doing horrible today. I got to get up apparently. Then I have an app called Auto Sleep and this just tracks my sleep. Oh, new! You can set up a charge reminder. Do it now. Do it at... Do it at... 11. Okay. Anyway, oh my goodness, confirm. So this app is just basically to track my sleep. I can just see like how long I was in deep sleep, how, how my heart rate was throughout the night how long did i sleep the quality of my sleep it's just a fun app I, because i had a fitbit before i had an apple watch and it would track my sleep and i just really got used to that and so now i just like having an app where i can see my sleep how i'm how i'm sleeping and it will tell me if i'm doing worse or if i'm on track or if i'm doing better at sleeping obviously apparently last night i did not while I was getting there. I, I needed to sleep a little more apparently. I didn't go to sleep until obviously 1.15 a.m. Okay, then I have my TV app. So this app is basically all my entertainment apps. I have the Boomerang app for the Boomerang streaming service. My favorite. All the Hanna-Barbera shows, all the Scooby-Doo shows. I have Netflix, of course. I have Hulu. I have Disney+. Plus. I have the Apple TV app here, which also has Apple TV Plus, then I have Twitch, and I have Prime Video, and I have Movies Anywhere, I have Disney Now, then I have the Megaplex app, this is our, like, local theater app. Oh look, they're still promoting Scoob! Yes! Uh, and then I have my Voodoo app, and that's my TV. Then I have my Apple Arcade folder, so this is basically all the games from Apple Arcade, this is another subscription service through Apple where you can pay five dollars a month and you get just absolute free access to all these curated games they are made specifically for Apple Arcade and so there's no in-app purchases there's no ads there's no like you have to wait this long to unlock this or whatever it is just like pure games it is basically Netflix for gaming 
more or less. And it's, it's really cool. I love how I can play on my phone, on my iPad, on my Apple TV, and it all syncs. And I can use a controller on any device, and it's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of games. So, the games I currently have, Pinball Wizard, Oceanhorn 2, Where Cards Fall, Lego Brawls, Way of the Turtle, What the Golf, Mini Motorways, Super Impossible Road, Frogger in Toyland, Choo Choo, Rocket, uh, The Enchanted Forest, I believe, Dodo Peak, Sasquatch, Watch, uh, Hogwash, Super Mega Mini Party, something or other, Bilbo's Journey, Grindstone, Monomoles, Butter Royale, Tales of Mimo, and Patty Pursuit. Um, and then I have a few different ones on my Apple TV that I don't have it on here. But anyway, yeah, so uh, if you have any Apple device, I'll look into this. It's, it's actually quite a fun. Some of my favorites are Mini Motorways, uh, Pinball Wizard, Lego Brawls, What the Golf, uh, Sneaky Sasquatch, that's what it's called, Sneaky Sasquatch, Hogwash, uh, Butter Royale, so anyway. Then I have just my games folder. This is not a part of Apple Arcade. So I have Bloons TD6, Mario Run, HQ Trivia, Pokemon Go, and Mario Kart, which I don't play like any of these anymore. Pokemon Go, though, I play with uh, some of my friends when we go out and stuff, so. And my photography folder, and it has a whole one app. <laughs> it is in light, and this is what I use to edit my photos. Uh, it's what I use to edit any of my photos if I take pictures for people or a lot of times for my thumbnail pictures I'll tweak them in here, tweak the brightness and coloring and whatever in here and then put it into Canva to add all the text and pictures and whatever else. And I have my shopping folders so this has Amazon, Target, Best Buy, Michaels, the Apple Store, Walmart, Starbucks, Funko, Swig which is a uh, more of a local Utah drink place. It is super popular, super, super popular. Um, I I think they're really good, but I'm allergic to the mix-ins that they put in, and so I can't get any of their cool drinks. So it's honestly a waste for me to go there, unless I'm getting one of their delicious cookies. Mm. I have Little Caesars and Joann's. So that's my shopping folder. Then I have my podcast folder. This is just basically for my podcast. If you guys didn't know, I have a podcast. It is Scooby-Doo Legend of the Podcast. Um, you guys all should listen to it. But I have Anchor, which is the app that I use to upload the episodes to check all the analytics and whatever for my podcast. And then I just have uh, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, uh, Bre breaker 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 overcast these are the other platforms that the podcast is available on that i could have access to um and then obviously apple Podcasts. i have in my talk then i have just have three random apps just chilling i have giphy for some other gifs uh mini metro i downloaded because they made it free for a certain time and the this game is from the makers of Mini Motorways, which I love that game. Uh, Mini Metro is uh, came out before Mini Motorways. Mini Motorways you can only get with Apple Arcade. Mini Metro you can just download, you can buy it. But it was free for a certain time, so I downloaded it. I haven't played it, I just downloaded it just to make sure I could get it. Um, and then I have Workday, which again was an app for Michaels before I stopped working there because of all of the stuff that's going on. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's that's my phone. That is my phone. I have the iPhone 10s Max and yeah, there's nothing too crazy on here. Let me know though if you guys have any app suggestions down below in the comments. Let me know if there's some apps that I should check out. Uh, let me know if there's any games I should check out. Um, just let me know. Are there any cool apps I'm missing out on? I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite app is also. Um, obviously, one of my favorites is Twitter. I love, I love Twitter. That is one of the apps I'm most on is Twitter. It's a problem. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully, uh, maybe this gave you a little more insight on who I am. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but that was my updated 2020 what's on my iPhone. 
So guys, I will catch you in my next one. Goodbye!